Bungie were present on Inside Xbox at Gamescom and revealed some great new additions to the game come Shadow Keep. More about artifacts, a new exotic, new mods and much more. Today we cover it all. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and if you are new around here and want to see more of what you are seeing, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so firstly, let's check out a new exotic to the game. This is for the hunter and it's called the Assassin's Cowl. It's an exotic helmet and while it looks absolutely amazing, that's for sure. But check out its intrinsic perk. Vanishing Execution. Defeating a guardian with a melee attack or a combatant with a finisher grants invisibility and restores a portion of health and shields. Well, punch me in the face and call me Betty. I love it. It's about time us hunters got something useful. Yes, I'm kidding, by the way. But yeah, this does look quite decent, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so let's move on to the new information on finishers we got. So we know finishers are used to basically finish off your enemies of your size or slightly bigger, anything just below a boss. And they do this with a special animation. When you get an enemy down to a certain percentage of health, a symbol will appear above their head and they will glow slightly. This indicates you can finish them. There are different class-oriented finishers and everyone will get three with Shadow Keep. You can also spam your finisher, but you can also still take damage while doing these finishers. Finishers as well also have specific mods in your setup which can be beneficial. Like this one mod right here and it's available on your artifact. It's called Thunder Coil and it grants bonus damage for all arc melee abilities and refunds super energy on finisher final blows. And this one, Heavy Finisher. Finishers generate heavy ammo, requires one half of your super energy. Interesting, what I can also confirm is this particular mod also generates heavy for your allies too. Very cool indeed. Okay, so let's next talk about something else not mentioned. They are anti-barrier round mods and overload round mods. These are new and were exclusively revealed via the stream. So for a brief second, we saw two options on a hand cannon via the mod socket. These are then equipped via unlocking them on the artifact. Now there is something else available to slot into this mod socket for hand cannons, but they don't reveal what this is. We can see at the bottom of the screen. The anti-barrier rounds we do get a glimpse of for the hand cannons, auto rifles and SMGs do the following. Piercing rounds designed to bypass combatant defences strong against barrier champions. We do see another perk for auto rifles and SMGs too called overload rounds. Uninterrupted fire grants bullets that cause disruption, delaying ability energy regeneration and lowering combatant damage output. Strong against overload champions. Very interesting indeed people. Now I'm going to do a little more research into the artifact and bring you another video later on today with that so stay tuned for it. Moving on and we see a new mode called Nightmare Hunt. This one in particular is called Servitude and it's on the moon. But there are others here too. This one states, defeat the Nightmare of Zydron, the Gatelord. Zydron, if you remember, was a unique Vex Minotaur unit that protects the endless steps on Venus. Now, I guess these nightmares will be where we see and encounter many of the old enemies we have seen throughout the Shadow Keep trailer, so I look forward to that. We also see these nightmare hunt modes have three new named difficulties, Adept, Hero and Legend, all adding various modifiers, with Legend adding up to six modifiers, like damn. We also see a new strike on the moon called Scarlet Keep. And last thing to cover people, we get a quick glimpse at the Monte Carlo scene here in the Hunter's inventory. I mean, we all knew it was returning, but here it is people, our first glimpse at it inside the inventory in the game. But yeah guys, besides that, we didn't get much more information. It was mainly about the finishers and how they impacted us as players playing the game. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.